Okay. What is going on, family? Hope all is well. Hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Um, I wanted to drop a quick video. This is not a podcast episode. Season two is coming back soon. But I wanted to drop this video real quick because there's this quote that I saw from Kareem Biggs. And for those who don't know who Kareem Biggs is, he is one third of one third owner or former owner, rather, actually, of Rockefeller Records. Because Rockefeller, I don't think really exists anymore as a label. Um, but he's one third owner and founder of Rockefeller Records. And he I follow his page and because he drops like a lot of these great quotes um really great quotes that has you thinking really could you know motivational quotes i guess you can say and he's a believer he's a believer um and he has a the amazing story he actually has that he was actually locked up like after rockefeller was sold off and everything like that he actually got locked up on some charges on uh, marijuana to my understanding but he was an atheist and but while he was locked up for whatever how many years he was locked up for he actually became a believer he found god in prison so that's just like an amazing story itself really 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 dope but that's not the whole point of this episode um or or this video actually but he posted this quote today that i saw and i was like yo i got to do a video on this real quick just i want to touch on it real quick hopefully this video won't be long I want to touch on it real quick. And it says like this. Let me pull it out. It says, some will make you their enemy just to have a worthy opponent. Don't fight battles you've already won. I'm going to repeat that again. Some will make you their enemy just to have a worthy opponent. Don't fight battles you've already won. Yo, when I saw this call, I was like, yo, this is really good. I posted on my IG page, posted on the Wild Podcast page as well. Uh, on my Facebook page, I thought it was just so, man, it's it's such a, such a powerful quote. And for me, I'll be honest, I don't have any enemies, at least to my understanding. I don't have beef with nobody. I love everybody. I really, really do. I, I really walk in that. Um, even if there are people out there that may, you know, may not favor me for whatever reason. Um, if there is anybody out there that you know, for whatever reason, I, I, I really don't know because I don't go out my way to make enemies and I don't really care to have enemies. I never really understood the purpose and the benefit of having enemies um, because I, I feel like an enemy is only there to distract you from your calling. That's it. An enemy is there to distract you from your calling. So why give energy and attention to something or someone that can really distract you from the path that you need to go? Like, what is the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, walk in victory, not in misery, especially if it's a battle that you've already won. If it's and, and the way you're going to know that you won this battle is that you don't only consume, think or allow the person, the individual, whoever it is to run and consume your life. Right. And I feel like sometimes, especially in our culture. Right. We it's like it's almost like this badge of honor to say, you I got enemies. I got enemies. I got enemies. I got haters. I got haters. I got haters. People are going to hate. People are going to try to discredit what you're doing. People are always going to try to knock down what you're doing. But why give it energy? Like I was, um, me, my brother, and a good friend of mine, we are on this group chat, right? And he's doing this thing out in Atlanta. So, you know, you know, shout out to my guy. And um, he had posted this he posted a screenshot of, I guess, something that he does because he does, he's in media. He's also does like acting on the side. So he has like a lot of different things that he is doing. Like I'm super, 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 super proud of, of, of him. And he also has like, um, his, um, page where he does like journalism and stuff like that. Cause he actually went to school to be a, a, a journalist to my understanding. Anyways, I don't want to get off topic. Um, so he posted his picture or whatever. And, um, so that's like my timer. Um, he posted his picture and basically with this picture, he was basically letting me and my brother know that he has something that's coming up, but I guess he's somewhat concerned about what people may think, but you know, he's not really being fully (laughs) direct what it is. So we're joking on the group chat. I'm like, yo, as long as you're not joining the Illuminati, you're so good, (laughs) you know, so forth and so forth. But I remind him, I was like, listen, um, people are going to hate. No matter what, but as as long as they're not putting money in your pocket, and they can they they have no power on 
if you're going to be able to get into the pearly gates and see God when it's your time to go, then why give him any energy? What's the point? Basically, which means is that they have no domain and no power over you. But sometimes like we get, and he was like, yo, you're right. But sometimes we get so consumed and worried about what other people are going to think. We get so consumed about having enemies or, you know what I'm saying? Or, or haters, whatever it is. But again, they're only there to distract you from your calling. Because how many times that you're ready to start something or do something, but you're afraid what people are going to say. You're allowing the naysayers to stop you from doing what God has called you to do. The town that God has given you, right? Like for me, if I had to worry about every single time I got in front of a microphone and recorded and, you know, doing my podcast, you know, shout out to Top Show Podcast. That was a podcast I was doing before with my two brothers, Anthony and Fred. Um, but if we if we always had to worry about what people were going to say, it would have never happened. Never take place because people are going to people will always have their own opinion, but their opinion doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's just an opinion. That's all it is. It's an opinion. There's no fact or law behind what they are saying, especially again, if you're doing something that you're passionate about, you have a calling for people have asked you to do. And so you have to ignore any negative opinion or any negative thoughts that may come to your mind, because you got to remember Satan's job is to always, I say this all the time to kill, steal and destroy. That's his job. And he will use other people to do that. He will create enemies, right? And sometimes people will just want to be your enemy just because, and even if let's say you, you had beef with somebody in the past, whatever it is, yo, let it go. Because what is the point? What is the point of walking around in the streets or walking around or going out your, going throughout your day and worried about somebody else because again now they become a distraction now you lose focus you're not focused on what you're supposed to be doing you're more focused on what this person is and this is why i say it's like walk in victory not in misery walk in victory not in misery because if you're victorious especially if it's somebody that you called your enemy or used to be your enemy or may even look at you as their enemy but you have like you no longer allow that person to have any rule over you. You won. Especially if you're excelling in life, you're doing well in life. Why allow, like, let them hate from the sidelines. And a lot of times people hate from the sidelines because they're not in the game. You get what I'm saying? So I wanted to create this really short video real quick. I could dive much more deeper, but I wanted to make it short and just real quick because I just feel like that quote, man, and I'm going to read it again because it's so good. Some will make you their enemy just to have a worthy opponent. Some people are just miserable, to be honest with you. They just want to hate. Don't fight battles you already won. If you already won that battle, why are we fight it again? What are you trying to prove? Don't allow your ego to create something that's not there or, or, or to refight something that you've already won that god has already took care of for you god has already has removed for you like god will remove certain people out of your life because he sees the destruction that they're going to cause in your life the distraction but sometimes we make the mistake by going back for what because of our pride because of our ego we need to prove a point it's not always about proving a point sometimes it's about staying on point on what god has called you to do don't allow the enemy to distract you from your calling. So hopefully this resonates quick video real quick. Don't worry. The wild podcast will be back. And of course, if you haven't already, please like subscribe to, you know, my YouTube channel, the wild podcast, and I will see you for season two. One love. <laughs>